Hi, YouTube tobacco enthusiasts. It's Risti again, also known as Tobacco Lassie. And I just want to do a short and sweet video on this stuff. Bernard's Ashtalt Bayerischer. Did I say that right? Anyhow, <laughs> this is my first introduction to Schmalzlers. Um, I don't have any other Schmalzlers to compare it with, um, although I do have another order coming in from Mr. Snuff, hopefully today. Um, that has another uh, Schmaltzler in it. Um, so um, we'll see what happens when I get those. But as far as this stuff, I really do like it. Um, so let's go ahead and take a couple of pinches and uh, let's talk about it some more. Now, the reviews that I've seen um, on this stuff have, have been pretty favorable. Um, I've heard a little bit about throat drip and how it makes your nose run and um, how you can like shovel tons and tons of this stuff in your nose. Um, I'm working my way up to the shoveling part. <laughs> but the thing I like about this stuff is that it's very coarse, very fluffy, very moist. Um, and it goes in the nose really easy. In fact, I like uh, kind of how it tickles the front of my nose as it goes in. <laughs> so as well as being nicotine bliss, it's kind of a sensory bliss too. So anyhow, cheers. <sighs> I get some on my face? I sure did. Anyhow. Oh, that stuff's amazing. Um, Right off the bat, it almost feels as if there's a menthol sense to it, um, but it's it's not really menthol. It's more like, um, I guess, kind of that fermented um, type of a scent to it. Um, it's got like a wonderful aroma of figs and dates, a little bit of um, maple in it. In fact, it you know what it reminds me of? It um, reminds me of, you know, those uh, Christmas packages that have like figs and dates and, and nuts and dried apricots and stuff in it. Um, those uh, Christmas package packages that you order um, via mail order and send out to friends and family when you can't think of anything else to give them. <laughs> That's exactly what it, what it reminds me of because it's got a very, very slight nutty undertone to it. Um, the figs and the dates and the, and the maple is very prevalent with um, also a little slight hint of coffee. It's very nice. I, I love it. Um, although um, it kind of burns a little right about here uh, when I take it. Now, when I first took this stuff, I had the burn going on way up here and way through here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to learn to sniff a little better. But since then, I've learned to keep it to the front of my nose. But it still kind of burns right through there. But it's a nice burn. Um, I like the burn. Um, adds to the experience, I guess. Um, but I do get a runny nose, and I do get some throat drip. Um, the throat drip doesn't taste nasty at all, but for the first five minutes or so, kind of irritates a little bit way up high um, in the throat. And... Um, I found that usually I need something to drink with it, preferably a hot beverage to kind of melt it up and wash it down, that kind of thing. So it's really good with a strong cup of coffee. Um, it, in fact, it tastes and smells really nice, the snuff does, uh, with a strong cup of coffee or with a nice uh, cup of green tea or jasmine tea. So um, I find it very, um, very pleasant with those hot beverages. I tried it with a mocha, not so much. That's what I reserve... Uh, my Irish coffee snuff for, for, for coffee mochas. Um, but, um, would I recommend this to beginners? Yes, I would because of the coarseness of it. Um, although do be careful. Um, if you're a beginner, I don't recommend taking huge gobs of it all at once. Start, start with the uh, schmal, schmal, schmal. <laughs> That's what I get for saying schmaltzler all day, right? Take small pinches at first, um, to get a feel for it. And then work your way up to your to your little pyramid pile or whatever. Um, wonderful stuff. Um, what else? It does make my nose run. 
Um, in fact, I feel like I have to blow my nose already and I haven't had this stuff in my nose for five minutes. Um, in fact, <laughs> the other day, I took a couple big pinches before a class, um, martial arts class, because that means it's an hour without smoking. <laughs> so, so I took a couple big pinches of stuff and I didn't notice that a glob of snot came dripping out of my nose and one of my uh, students looked at me and goes, the fuck is that? <laughs> I was like, oh, whoops, I better go blow my nose. Um, but other than that, it's a wonderful, wonderful schmaltzler. I love the scent. I'm looking forward to trying other schmaltzlers to compare it with. Um, but in short, it's a great schmaltzler. Um, I recommend this to um, anyone um, who's beginning in snuff to check it out. Give it a shot. Um, uh, you never know. You know, uh, this stuff is turning me into a schmaltzler fiend. So, um, although even though it makes my throat drip, makes my nose run, I love this stuff and I can't wait to try other schmaltzlers. So, if anyone out there has any other recommendations for good schmaltzlers, uh, let me know in the comments below. I appreciate all your comments um, and thank you again, subscribers. Uh, I got another uh, 10 subscribers over the last couple days um, during Thanksgiving of all times, right? Y'all should be like spending time with your family, not on YouTube. <laughs> no, that's okay. I was checking out YouTube too. <laughs> Anyhow, so that, that was my short and sweet review on Bernard's Ashtabayerischer. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll talk to y'all next time.